simple machine which is designed to make life easier by increasing the amount of force applied in a specific area. There are many examples of these, including scissors, bottle openers, arms, hammers, catapults and old-fashioned scales. Levers move around a central point called a pivot or fulcrum. On one end there will be a load, on the other an effort will be applied. The further away the effort from the pivot, the easier the load will be to move. It's a simple example of a lever. The screwdriver is applying effort. The load is the tin lid and the pivot is where the screwdriver has tried to take the lid of the paint off. This is a seesaw. There are two equal weights at equal distances from the pivot. If I move one of these further inwards, it will become unbalanced. If I take another weight and place it in the right position, it will become balanced again. This is because each of these weights weighs approximately 10 grams. On this side, there's one 10 gram weight approximately 10 centimetres away from the pivot. This adds up to approximately 10 times 10, which is 100. Here I have two 10 gram weights, so you'd expect this side to be heavier, but one of them is approximately 4 centimetres away, and one of them is approximately 6 centimetres away. 4 times 10 is 40, 6 times 10 is 60, and 40 plus 60 is 100. The moment of force is force times perpendicular distance from the pivot. That was a demonstration of moment. To summarise, if I have one weight on one side of the lever, for it to be balanced, there has to be the same weight on the other side at an equal distance from the pivot on both sides. This is an example of a balance lever. If I move the weight and decrease the distance away from the pivot, it will become unbalanced. At this point, I can do one of two things. I can either move one of the weights the equal distance from the pivot, or I can change the moment.